my name is Zach and I'm a tenderfoot and today we're doing a cinnamon toast crunch caramel apple dutch oven at my house before I do it at a campfire to see if the recipe actually works. I'm my honor. I'll do my best. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful. Today we're making a cinnamon toast crunch caramel apple cobbler. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this cinnamon powder mix that that comes in the box and you're gonna put it in there in the in your pancake mix and just mix it up I recommend it it might be easier to use a one gallon Ziploc bag to mix your ingredients yeah that'll probably work a little bit better gallon Ziploc there you go so make sure you remember the Ziploc bag with your ingredients And then you're just gonna mix that up. You're just gonna mix that up. Uh, you gotta put the butter first, cause if you don't, then your cobbler's gonna stick to your Dutch oven. So put around five to seven tabs of butter. Now we're gonna pour half of this pancake mix in the bottom. Now you just gotta level it out. Now that you leveled that out, you take your pie filling. Uh, today we're doing caramel apples. You, you can use whatever you want. It doesn't matter what type of pie filling you use. You can do whatever you want. And here goes our first can of pie filling. Now that we've done that, we're gonna take our second can of pie filling. I'm gonna do the whole can. even that out. Now we're gonna pour the rest of our pancake mix on top. Take our spoon from earlier, just kinda even this out on top. Now that we've done that, we're gonna put the uh, another five to seven uh, tabs of butter. I usually do five on this part. So have you done this this one before, or have you? Done no, it? this is the first time I've done a cinnamon toast crunch caramel apple. So now we need our liquid for the cobbler. If you don't do that, then it's gonna turn out really dry and powdery. So we're just gonna use milk today, and just kind of eyeball how much really what do you think should that be good for a little bit more? i would try at least a cup that looked like a quarter cup so keep going yeah there you go now you put your liquid in there now since this came with cinnamon toast crunch topping we're gonna put the rest of this on top. You think you should put it on there before or after it's done? I do it now. Yeah. So we're gonna put this cinnamon toast crunch topping on there. Mm. And now you're gonna put the lid on. And you don't have to cover it with foil. I just I just like to so it doesn't get all ashy. It's easier to clean. We just poked a hole in the foil so we can put a hook in it so we can turn 
the top of the Dutch oven and make sure it's cooking evenly and to take the lid off to check it periodically to see if it's done. spread those out. Eight fifteen, baby. This way, check it. Eight fifteen, eight twenty. Check it. So we're gonna turn the Dutch oven so it doesn't burn the cobbler. Turn the lid so the top cooks evenly too. Okay, what are we doing? We're checking to make sure it's done. Definitely smells good. What do you think? <laughs> Give another 15, it wouldn't hurt. So we're just taking the lid off. Mm. And then we're gonna Move it off the coals because they're still hot, so they burn the bottom. Ooh, I smell it already. Smell okay? Mm hmm. It's gonna be hot. I just wish we had some vanilla ice cream. It's just two thumbs up, but I can't do my.